Dear audience, Assalamu alaikum. A gracious welcome to you all on the second round of first inter school English debate competition organized by Bangladesh Television Chattogram Center. Debate is a powerful tool for creating an innovative and logical mind. Besides, it also helps to develop the personality of people. Dear audience, today the selected motion of this debate competition is online platform can make the Bengali literature more popular among the young generation. The team for the motion belongs to Rangamati Government Girls High School. The team against the motion belongs to Rani Bilashmuni Government Boys High School, Gajipur. Speakers for the motion are Sidratul Muntaha Subha, Tithi Chakma, and their team leader, Rahatul Ain Sadia. Speaker against the motion are Abir Hassan Mugdho, Muhammad Shakil Chodhuri, and their team leader Shomitra Sinha. The honorable adjudicators of this session are Kaji Arfat, former president USTC Debate Club, director WIS Communication, Adil Mustak Ahmed, debate coach, learning leaders, China and Ahmed Reja, Vice President, Bangladesh Debate Federation. The topics on which our honorable judges are going to ascend marks in the constructive round are Presentation 5, Language and Pronunciation 10, Presentation of Theory and Information 15, Argumentation and Rebuttal 10. The topics on which marks will be awarded in the rebuttal round are Presentation 5, Language and Pronunciation 5, Argumentation and Rebuttal 20. Dear viewers, now we are going to introduce our Honorable Moderator of today's program who will conduct the entire competition and announce the results at the end. Our Honorable Moderator of today's competition is Dr. Shajul Chandrabonik, Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Chittagong University of Engineering and Technology. Now, I would humbly request you, sir, to come up on the stage and take your seat. Before we start the debate, let me inform you about the order and time allocation of each debater. Each debater will get five minutes to present his speech. An alarm bell will ring on the fourth minute and the final bell will ring on the fifth minute. In the rebuttal round, both the team leaders will get two minutes each. An alarm bell will ring on one and a half minute and the final bell will ring on the second minute. Dear viewers, you can enjoy this episode of this debate competition on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Our Facebook page link, facebook.com slash btv Our YouTube channel link, www.youtube.com slash at the rate of BTV Chotogram. Now I most humbly request the Honorable Moderator to preside over this session and start the debate. Thank you very much indeed. Today's selected motion, online platform can make Bengali literature more popular among the young generation. The first speaker for the motion, Sidratul Muntaha Subha. Present your logic and arguments for the motion. Thank you, my honorable moderator, for giving me an opportunity to speak here. Good afternoon, my respected judges and my dear opponents. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this debate. The motion for today's debate is online platform can make Bangla literature more popular among the young generation. Now, we, as today's proposition strongly argued that the statement is true. I, as the first speaker, will be talking about the topic and defining the subject. Let's first define some important terms. Firstly, online platform. It means any virtual communication system that facilitates a service or interaction between itself and the visitor, visitor virtually. They include search engines, marketplaces, social media, online financial systems, informative websites, and more. We use online platform for almost everything. 
from buying home essentials like clothes to even groceries. Even the news readers prefer online news portals over newspaper. Many brands, movies, and companies release their advertisements on online platforms because because it makes them more popular than any other platforms. And like all this is, Bangla literature is nothing exceptional. Literature evoke imaginative worlds through the conscious arrangement of words that tell a story. The stories are told through different genres or types of literature, like novels, short stories, poetry, drama, and the essay. Bangla literature is one of the oldest available literature in the world. Like Bangla music, Bangla literature is also very rich and relevant. So it's desirable for foreign philologists. But it's a fact that the world doesn't know about it. So to spread the Bangla literature all over the world, we must use virtual world because it's the best way. For example, if we want to know about Egyptian literature, then we have to search them on virtual world. But because we can go there. Yes, yeah, through the weekend, but it will cost a lot of money and time, which everyone cannot afford. So using online platform is the best, cheapest, and the easiest way to know history of any literature. And Bangla literature is just also like that. Now, another important term came is popularity. What is popularity? Popularity describes something that is whether liked or not, but admired by a lot of people. Anything that is popular is known by a lot of people. Sometimes when you hear about a best-selling novel, you wonder why it's so popular, because it's regarded with great favor, especially by the general public. And in today's world, the general public are led by young generation. Young generation, the word refers to those persons who are between in the ages of 15 to 24 years. The current young generation is known as Gen Z. They are the first generation to have been born into widespread access to the internet from a very young age. The children of young generation are inextricably linked with modern technology. So being interacted with online platform is nothing new for them. Moreover, the Gen Zs are way too much lazier than other generation. Researchers have proved that Gen Z are the most creative generation are, and are also more independency believer than other generations. They don't like depending on others. Using virtual sites doesn't need another person to depend on, and because of this, the younger generation are preferring online platforms over other platforms. In this, in this way, they are knowing about the Bangla literature and it's becoming popular among them. But the, it doesn't mean they are reading this carefully, because making it popular doesn't mean observing them deeply. And it means just knowing them or admiring them. Popularity and reading thoroughly isn't the same thing. You just need to know the name to make it popular. People are knowing about this genre through virtual world and known by a lot of people means popularity. Thus, the online platforms are popularizing Bangla literature among the young generation. And for all these reasons, the statement must stand. Now, I'm summing up some questions for my dear opponents. First, if you don't believe that online platforms are making Bangla literature more popular, then tell us why it isn't. Secondly, tell us is there any better, cheaper, and easier option for foreign philologists to know about our literature other than online platforms? Thirdly, please give reason. Thank you. Thank you, my honorable moderator. Now the turn comes for Abir Hassan Mugdho, first speaker from the team against the motion. There was a time when students were asked if they would say, I want to be a doctor, an engineer, or a judge barrister. But nowadays, the addition of online platform has reached such a level that if you ask them now the answer that I will be a like a star TikTok celebrity or YouTuber. In such a situation, if it is said that online platform can make Bengali literature more popular among the young generation, then it is completely wrong. Thank you so much, honorable moderator, for giving me the floor. Today's selected evening topic is online platform can make Bengali literature more popular among the young generation. For, for some reason, me and my team are against the motion. Now I am here to express my opinion against the motion. Honorable moderator, if we discuss this topic, then we must know what is online platform, what is Bengali literature, and what is young generation. Online platform is a kind of service platform and website where 
Imaginary social relations are developed from messages, pictures, comments, audio or video calls, etc. Such as Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Messenger, Instagram and more. And when a common writing is le leading from all the writings by the touch of art, it is called li literature. And literary work written in Bengali language is called Bengali literature. And as per international law, 18 to 35 years old people are mainly under the young generation. Today's debate, we will prove with three arguments that the online platform can never be make Bengali literature more popular among the young generation. Number one, quality concerns. Honorable moderator, by my first argument, I'm referring to the development aspects of Bengali literature. Through the online platform, not Bengali literature, but Bengali culture is being developed. Bengali culture is being highlighted not only by making different movies, dramas, etc., but also by Bengali literature. Literary practice is something that can never be developed without physical practice. Nowadays, entertainment seems to be more important than literary practice for the young generation. There are some writers in Bengal who only wrote stories and published books and because of their popularity on online platforms. And young generations are buying those books without realizing it. All these books are acting as entertainment for the young generation. However, these are not making any contribution to literary practice. These are the problems that are happening through online platforms. How do you solve the problem? If only online platforms played a role in literary practice, it would be unnecessary to set up libraries. Then can you tell us why there are public libraries and libraries in every educational institutions? Don't forget to tell. Promoto Choudhury in his book Boy Pora has clearly stated the need to establish a library for literary practice, not of any online platform. So what do you think? Number two, copyright and plagiarism. By my second argument, I'm referring to the main problem of literary practice on online platform is that the author's writing are being stolen or copied and are being posted on various online platforms. As a result, the author is not getting his due respect and dignity. The online world can be rife with copyright infringement and plagiarism issues. And number three, negative aspects of online platform. By my third argument, I'm referring to the social media is being used in a confusing way. As a result, the young generation is becoming impatient day by day. On January 6, 2019, the Daily Star published that the number of internet users in Bangladesh is 10,064,10,000 people. Among young people, the rate is even higher, about 90%. Online platforms are the main niches and professions of today's young generation. At this age of learning, the new generation is getting physically and mentally tired by addicted to social media always. Hunger, mental impairment, depression, and physical disability are developing among them. A large part of their day is spent on these social media platforms. In the era of free information technology, a large part of teenagers, young people, and young people are dangerously involved in various cyber crimes. Jack Resnick, president of the American Medical Association, put it more bluntly, saying, this addiction is more serious than drug addiction. Journalist Soit Sharka wrote in, wrote in an article Hand in hand, now iPhone, smartphone. When growing up in their future, when they are supposed to be dreaming, they, are, they think about how many attractive posts they can upload on online platforms. Before we learn enough about social media, everything is getting out of hand. According to Guardians, higher online platform is the biggest and main problem of today's young generation. So how can online platform make Bengali literature more popular among the young generation? After listening to the discussion, you will agree with us that we should establish more libraries instead of creating online platforms for literary practice. As per Promoto Choudhury's words, when the online platforms are the leading current young generation to destruction, we think that the only online platform can never make Bengali literature more popular among the young generation. Thank you, Honorable Moderator. Thanks to all of you. Now the turn comes for the second speaker of the team for the motion, Tithi Chakma. Thank you, Honorable Moderator, for giving me such an opportunity. At first, I want to say some advantages of having online platform. Firstly, we can get to know anything. Secondly, it can make anything or stuff popular. Thirdly, it enables us to enrich our knowledge. And lastly, we can get to know the world. As I said in my second point that online platform can make anything or stuff popular, then why can't it make Bangalore literature popular too? 
and it's really making Bengali literature popular. At present, as a developed country, we all depend on online and social media, but the most users are our young generation. Our young generation know all the online platforms which are available, like Google, YouTube, WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp Instagram, etc. They are all connected with online and sh social media. Through online platform, we, the young generation, can get to know the Bengali literature easily and very well, if we want to know. As an example, if I want to know a topic about the Bengali literature, then I have to search or read a lot of books where I can find the exact answer. But if I search it on online, then I can find the answer so fast and can find the correct or exact answer. Or I can download it as a PDF, so the letter I can read it. Before, without Bangla literature book, there is no way to know about Bangla literature. Even you are interested. But through online platform, it is way more easier to know it. That's why we can say that online platform can make Bangla literature more popular, young generation. According to United Nations, young generation means age from 15 to 24. So at the age from 15 to 24, we all can understand what is good or what is bad for us. Therefore, we all know that everything has a positive or negative side. The positive or negative side is all about what you and I want to take. And worldwide, 75% of people aged between 15 and 24 used the internet in 2022. As I said, young generation are the most users of online, and online is the best platform to spread Bangla literature and make it popular. Then it's clear that Bangla literature is becoming popular among the young generation. If online platform is not the best way to make it popular, then tell us what is the best way. The other point is, if online platform can make a person, a MOOC, a movie, or even a drama popular, then why can't it make Bangla literature popular? As our first speaker said, online platform is making Bangla literature popular anyway, if people like to know about it or not. The other thing is, if we add Bangla literature at every online platform, then the young generation cannot help knowing it. Bangla literature is not only books, but also movies and dramas. These movies and dramas are worldwide available through online platform, and people from different countries can watch it. There are many people in our country who have foreigner friends. They can tell them or send them many Bangla literature books or dramas if they want. I guess we all have heard the Gitanjali song offerings which was written by Rovindranath Tagore. We all know this uh, because it's popular and it's popular because of online. And where we can find it easily, we also can find it easily on online. Comparison to past, Bangla literature has become more popular. Literacy practice has become widespread online over time. In the field of online literacy practice, it is noticed that literacy groups exist. Competitions are organized in different groups because it's becoming popular. Bengali literature is one of the oldest available literature in the world, and its history can be traced to countries ago. Like Bengali music, Bengali literature is also very popular because of online. Our first opponent speaker only talked about the negative side of online. Maybe he takes negative side of online. That's why he thinks the whole young generation is like him. We can spread Bangla literature easily in Bangladesh because our language is Bangla. But if we want to spread Bangla literature to our young generation globally, then we must take help from online because only on online they can find Bangla literature. Lastly, I want to say that I appreciate there are many ways to make Bangla literature popular, but online platform is making Bangla literature more and more popular day by day. We can't deny it. We don't care what they want to be or YouTuber or such things like, but it is however they know a Bengali literature. They know that Bengali literature exists. They are buying the Bangla literature books without knowing it. The first opponent speaker asked, said it. It's, um, they said it they're, without knowing it, they are buying it. But then buy, they are buying it because they know about Bengali literature. And However, they want to know about Bengali literature. Maybe that's why they want to. Thank you, honorable moderator. Thank you, everyone. Now the time for the second speaker of against the motion team, Mohammad Shakil Choudhury. Thank you, honorable moderator, for giving me the floor to speak something in against of the motion. The first speaker of my team explained three arguments that we have for against the motion. 
Now I will give extension of our three given arguments to prove that online platform is not enough to lead the Bengal literature among young. Our argument number one, quality concerns. Honorable moderator, according to Amor Ekushe Book Fair 2023 survey, 78.3% of the books sold this year were written by various well-known online celebrities such as popular film stars, actors, radio jockeys, politicians, YouTubers, Facebook content creators, and other others. Later, according to a special inquiry of Vishwashaito Kendro, it can be seen that although these books are full of exciting writings, they did not find any resemblance of our traditional literature. There was no illumination of our own literary style. In fact, there has happened to make more money in the name of the literature by taking advantages of one's online fame, not to highlight the, pro the popularity of Bengal literature. Research shows that the quality of those books is not up to the expectations of the readers, and many readers put it down after the first page. Learned opponent, now tell me why those were so popular among the readers and sold in such quantities, even though those were not proper literature. You will find that there is no reason behind it other than social marketing. And because of this, the popularity of Bengali literature is steadily declining, and we fear that traditional Bengali literature will not be found after 10 years due to the evil influence of online platforms. Moreover, online platforms, pla online platforms are governed by different algorithms. So the promotion of this Poor quality books will come before more due to their popularity, which is a big obstacle in the way of practice of our literature, so that our traditional Bengal literature will be lost. After all this, we can't understand how my learned opponent are trying to highlight the possibility of Bengal literature's popularity on online platforms. Our second argument, copyright and plagiarism. Currently, plagiarism has become a big problem in online, online platforms mainly in Facebook, which is the most used social media throughout the world. Now, if a writer wants to publish his literary work among the youth through social media, he must be a victim of plagiarism, so that he gets none of the money and respect he deserves. As a result, no writer will want to uh, publish their creative work in online, and no one will read that. Then the literary practice of the youth will decrease, and popularity of Bengali literature will gradually disappear. But if we look at the library system in our country, we will see that there is no possibility of plagiarism due to the strict copyright laws, and there is an opportunity for easy literary practice without hindrance. That's why, that's why many maximum authors do not put their literary works in online. They make those available to, in, to people in book form, learned opponent. Can you show me any social media where copyright laws are strictly enforced through where you can express and preserve your literary works and talents without any anxiety, which can hopeful, hi, hopefully highlight the popularity of Bengali literature? I hope you will answer my question. Argument number three, negative aspects of, of online platform. Today, if we look carefully, we will see that the negative aspects of online platforms are more prevalent among young than the good ones. The most notable among these are, is the massive decrease in the patience of young generation. Online platforms are now most attractive among the youth, due to which they spend extra time there. Day after day continues like this, their physical and mental problems are increasing. Online platforms, their fast-paced nature and short attention spans are wearing down the patience of our youth. Honorable moderator, traditional literature often requires a certain level of patience and engagement to understand its depth and complexity. But due to the first-paced nature of online platforms, like real systems and short video contents, the youth will never be able to grasp Bengal literature with patience. Learned opponent, still, if you keep saying that online platforms can increase the popularity of Bengali literature among the young generation, then it will be nothing but an impossible fantasy. So we want that you, you, will, see, uh, you, will, so you will say with us that online platforms is not an, uh, enough to uh, make Bengali literature more popular. Thank you, Honorable Moderator. Thank you, everyone. Now I'd like to call upon Rahatul Ain Sadia to present your logic and arguments for the motion.
Thank you, moderator, for giving me the scope to express myself. Good afternoon, honorable judges, my opponent team, and audience. First of all, I will answer your question. You are saying that young generation are not reading Bengali literature books. They are reading books about another topics. Uh, can you say in how much library they are selling Bengali literature books, but young generation can easily buy those literature books by using online platform. Now, can you say that there is rich books of Bengali literature in your library, but you can find all Bengali literature books in virtual world, such as Durgesh Nondini. Can you find it in your school library? No, I'm sure about that. Bengal has always been a major center of art, culture, and literature in Indian subcontinent. The style of Bengal has given birth to intellectuals like Robindranath Thakur, Raja Ram Mohan Rai, Kajinozul, Islam, Bonkim Chandra, Isha Chandra, Bidda Shago to the world of literature. The term Bengal literature includes all the library works in Bengali language, be it from Bangladesh or West Bengal. You are continuously saying that Bengali literature is not popularized by online platform. But you are not saying the other way to popularize our Bengali literature. This online platform is helping us in every way to spread Bengali literature. For example, I can say that if those living abroad or the foreigners who want to read any book of Bengali literature, like Robindran Skitanjali, it, it will not be convenient for him to buy the book because this book may not be available in abroad. But by taking the help of online platform, they can get the PDF of that book. According to the American Association of Publishers, 234 million ebooks were sold in Bangladesh and West Bengal. Ebooks have been sold in such a large amount, then think how much Bengali literature will spread through it. Even after this, will you say that online platform is not popularizing Bengali literature? Let me tell you another reason why, Bengal, why the young generation will be more enthusiastic about Bengali literature through online platforms. We know that any book of Bengali literature is, is normally costly because the cost of printing book, binding cost, author's royalty, all together are very costly. But if, that, if they take the help of online platform, in this case, they can read these books at very low cost because the initial cost of publishing are minimal, stories, shopping, and subsequent production costs are negligible. And its reach is global. It must be remembered that Bangla readers are spread all over the world. In the subs in subs substantial expatriate communities in the US, UK, and the Middle World. Still, will you say that online platform is not popularizing Bangla literature? Still, if you're not satisfied, I will give you more examples. As we are Bengali, it is natural for us to feel interest in Bengali literature. But if the novel of is too big, we lost our enthusiasm. The online platform is also helping us in this regard because it is presenting this novel in front of us in the form of picture. By this, we feel interest to watch this movie and can know about the novel. Like I can say that I know some novels of Bengali literature, but I have not read any of these books. I came to know about that by the online platform because I see the movie of them. Not only me, but most of the young generation like me are get to know about Bengali novels in this way, though which Bengali literature is becoming more popular. Okay, now you tell me, is there any better way to back their enthusiasm in Bengali literature? If you know any better way than online platform, then please tell us, we want to know about it. Many uh, online platforms like Flipkart, Amazon, and Infibim have become go-to destinations for readers to explore and purchase a wide range of Bengali books. These platforms offer a <coughs> vast collection of books, both in print and digital form, that readers have access to their favorite authors and genres. If that online platform has not popularized Bengali literature, then what is it doing? This platform are widely used all over the world. So by this online platform, Bengali literature is spreading all over the world. Not only that, besides many TV channels of our country organize various cultural programs such as Robin to join the no stool join the. Between those TV channels, BTV World and BTV Chattogram is the most famous TV channels. BTV broadcasts in over 49 countries covering almost the entire continent of Asia. What does this mean? This means our Bengali literature is spreading all over the world. Now I will talk about some other topics. We all know about the songs 
we know that there are many songs in Bengali literature such as Robindo Shongit, Nostul Shongit. We can hear this song with the help of online platform. As we are talking so much, have you ever thought that without online platform, how we will hear this song? Song can't be heard, this should be read. Thank you, Honorable Moderator. Now, I like to request to give your speech against the motion, Swamitra Singha. Thank you, Honorable Moderator, Panel of Judges, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. We're having a heated debate, are we not, with some very interesting things being said. The motion of today's debate is online platform can make Bengal literature more popular among young generation. But I'm afraid the superposition of the opposition team would lead us to nothing more than trash cans. But fellas, fret not, I won't be meretricious and try to bring translucency on my fair premises. The first speaker of my team upheld the malevolent facts inherent to cyberspace realm, quality concerns, copyright, and plagiarism concerns. And the second speaker highlighted the loss of depth, misrepresentation, misinterpretation, and distracted audience in online platform. I, as the team leader, will be clarifying facts about cultural delusion, accessibility of digital de devices, shallow engagement, and loss of physical interaction with books. So let the facts be unsheathed. My first argument is online platforms create cultural delusion. The translation of Bengal literature oftentimes leads to cultural delusions. Certain nuances and cultural references within the literature might be lost or misrepresented when presented to a global online stage. Second argument is about the shrunken accessibility rate of digital devices. My omniscient opponents are flabbergasting everyone with accessibility gibberish when statistics say something very different. According to Digital Bangladesh Data Poll Report 2023, Bangladesh's internet penetration rate stands only at 38.9% currently. So a big portion of our population, especially the young generation, are bereft, are harrowingly deprived of online platforms. Anyways, have, had online platform been so efficient, had it created a vicissitude, a maelstrom of online book revolution, then sagacious opponents, why is Ekushe Gruntomala so popular, so famous, even today? Question remains. Loss of physical interaction with books is also another concerning point. Traditional method of reading, such as holding a book, can give a deeper and more tactile connections, whereas online platforms lack sensory experience and emotional connection. Physical books offer a more focused and immersive reading. Constant screen exposure from digital devices can lead to eye strains and various kinds of cerebral problems. And besides, who wants to be distracted from mere notifications and rude interruptions? About multimedia integration, I want to reply that the absence of multimedia distractions in physical books encourages readers to use their own imagination, visualization about characters, settings, thereby fostering their own creative thinking. Third argument is about lack of perseverance, distraction, and shallow engagement. Online platforms are often associated with short attention span and shallow engagement, such, such as YouTube short, Instagram reels, TikTok videos, etc. As a result, young generation might skim through content without truly immersing themselves in the complexity and depth of Bengali literature. My opponents even befuddled everyone with flamboyant figments about online preservation and modernization. But digital fragility, dependency on technology, longevity of digital formats, loss of materiality, and accessibility barriers are also concerning points. While online platforms offer the widespread access, they are also subject to various kinds of technical issues and digital obsolescence. Do you have any answer for that? Besides, relying solely on online platforms can create archival and preservation, places a heavy dependence on technology. In the event of power outages, load shedding, internet disruption, access to literature could actually be compromised. According to United Nations Cybersecurity and Counterterrorism Report, nearly 4,000 new cyber attacks happen every single day. Every 14 seconds, a company falls victim to hacking. So how are we, with our good consciousness and sensual feeling, trust digital fragility question remains 
Commercialization, sensationalism, and popularity bias is also another problem. Online platforms prioritize commercial success and sensationalism over artistic and cultural view of Bengali literature, leading to a focus on only trendy and marketable works rather than the works of many famous authors, the true essence of literature. Laugh Lack of critical analysis. In a fast-paced online environment, readers might not engage in critical analysis or in-depth discussion of Bengali literature, missing out the opportunity for deep intellectual ex exploration. So helplessly hoping for the answer, I'd like to conclude. Thank you, Honorable Moderator. We have finished the first phase of debate. Now we will we'll start the rebuttals phase. In this phase, I'd like to first call Rahatul and Sadia to place your logic and arguments. Thanks again, moderator. You are still not giving the other way to make Bengali literature popular. We really want the answer. You are still saying the negative side. Give reasonable causes to disprove that online platform can make Bengali literature more popular among the young generation. We don't care what do the young generation want to be. The care that Bengali literature is becoming popular anyway. Our second speaker said that we, young generation, can understand what is good or what is bad for us. So if they choose the wrong side, that is their own matter. We are proving that online platform making it popular. We are not giving pressures. You are saying that the modern Bengal Bangla books doesn't contain anything about traditional Bengali literature. But anything that is written in Bengali is a part of Bengali literature. Uh, the first speaker of my opponent team have said about Promo Chowdhury. According to Promo Chowdhury, the library is the best place to acquire knowledge. We all accept and believe this. But it's a matter of sorrow that the Bengali literature, um, the Bangladesh has only 71 public libraries for 16 crore people. So think for yourself, is it possible for all the young people of our country to go to the library and acquire knowledge? For these reasons, will they not read books? Will they not acquire knowledge? As online platform is a blessing for us it has solved this problem because at present this online platform are similar to library where we can find any books thank you moderator now i would like to call upon somitra sinha to present your logic and arguments against the motion thank you honorable moderator we are truly amazed Amazed to see how the opposition team has rummaged each of our argument to find a little trace of popularization of Bengal literature made by online platforms. What they eventually did was nothing but rhapsodize a toddler's anecdote. So rise and shine, honorable moderator, shining chairs, take my heart. Honorable moderator, I asked the opposition team why Ekushe Gruntamala, which is not an online platform, is so popular among people. No answer. There is Nothing enigmatic about it. This is simply because online platforms can't popularize Bengali literature among youth than offline platforms. I even asked them if we could rely on digital fragility. No answer here either. I've already mentioned reasons behind it, right? Cyberbullying, digital obsolescence, hacking, etc. So with ubiquitous problems like privacy breaches, data manipulation, influx of information, and many other transgressions. Would it really be a conundrum if Bengali literature don't thrive in online platforms? According to Washington Post, online book platforms like Kindle, Goodread have failed to delight customers with technology. Another figment involving Goodreads when the high profile incident of Elizabeth Gilbert, the famous author of the best-selling memoir, Eat, Pray, Love canceled the release of her forthcoming novel after being neglected with only one star rating. Besides, in 2018, author Kathleen Hale reported for being extorted for money by scammers who would have otherwise 
bombed her book's rating unless the author sends them money. So even famous authors are leaving online platforms, let alone new authors. Online platforms like Sunday Suspense, Mirchi Bangla, Thrill Studio might give you short-lived exhilaration, but they are not the true self of Bengali literature. As a matter of fact, they surreptitiously disturb our own literature just the way famous author Neil Postman put it. Internet does not amplify or extend literary culture, it attacks it. Thank you, Honorable Moderator. Shining cheers. Now we have finished both the phrases of today's uh, debating. Both the team have presented their logic and arguments very nicely. And today's topics was uh, online platform can make Bengali literature more popular among the young generation. Actually, today's concentration is uh, mainly one group who are the young generation. And so I think we need to clarify the present attitude of the young generation today. So if you see that uh, in Bangladesh, the uh, most of the uh, percentage, which I tell that about 73% uh, of the uh, generation, young generation are nowadays using smart mobile. So some of you have told that uh, for the cost effective issue, the, the bust of the presentation in the online platform of the Bengali literature is very high. Anybody can get any book any times from the online platform with even minimum cost. And some of you also mentioned that there is no uh, the other way of the feelings that the physical touching of the book, this is also true that the real books, uh, reading feelings is uh, different. So we are all of uh, waiting for the today's results. And uh, I think I have got the score of today's competition. However, uh, in this competition, uh, I need to declare the results of the competition. Today's uh, winner team, Rani Vilashmani Government <laughs> Boys High School, Rajipur. Congratulations to all of you. And the best speaker, Samitra Singh, team leader of this team. I also want to give a special thanks to the uh, team uh, for the motion, uh, Rangamati Government High, uh, High School, uh, never be deserted. Uh, you know that failure is the pillar of success, so hopefully next time you will do better. Thank you all.